Hey Ocean family, I'm Ian, this is Aurelia, and these are our kids, Ariel and Stella, and we live aboard our 33 foot sailing catamaran, Eagle's Wings. We hope to inspire people everywhere to get out and enjoy this beautiful aquatic world we've been blessed with. So join us on the ocean as we share everything we've learned about sailing so far. Uh, there's a little bit of choppy sea as you can see here, but I think it's going to flatten out the further we go. So much for my weather forecast. The swell picks up and the wind increases from the north and we find ourselves cutting towards land and making our way slowly up to Burnett Head Sound. The reason we chose Burnett Heads was it has some great protection from northerly swell with the break wall that comes out. We knew that we'll be arriving early in the morning. There's a string of markers, navigational markers, port and starboard that run out to sea and they're very obvious light up like a Christmas tree. Once inside, we anchor up in this little corner patch where you can get good protection from pretty much other than an easterly, um, but none of that was forecast, so we knew that would be good to go. If you do need to go to the shops while in Burnett Heads, there is an IGA, uh, which can be walked to. Just around the corner is the marina. If you want to pay and stay in the marina, you certainly can. Uh, there's a fuel wharf on the end and water at the end of one of the pontoons. Just a little bit more information for any sailing families making their way up the coast. Uh, Burnett Heads uh, surprised us with some awesome playgrounds and beach frontage. And uh, I'll show you on the map here. Take your tender from where Eagle's Wings is anchored or anywhere there. Uh, right up in this corner here that you'll see on the map now is where you can park your tender. Just make sure that you pull it up nice and high if you do have an incoming tide. Follow the rock wall along and then it will bring you out to where the lighthouse is. And if you follow that uh, for a short walk, there is about three playgrounds with barbecues and picnic areas and grassed areas and a really nice ocean breeze there as well. You can also access the rocks down the beachfront, which is a ton of fun for us and our girls. What a great couple of days to spend at uh, Burnett Heads before we head north again to 1770. Good morning, Ocean family. So, we've left Burnett Heads and we left there at about 4 o'clock this morning. And we're on our way up to 1770, getting about, on average, anywhere from about 12 to 14 knots of wind. And we seem to be holding a nice steady speed of about 7 knots. The conditions are really quite low, which is really nice. And uh, we're expecting to be at 1770 at around about lunchtime, so midday today. It's been absolutely amazing. And, um, Definitely compared to our last sale. Anyway, let's just put it that way. Quick update, we're about 15 nautical miles south of 1770. Uh, that wind has shifted around just a little bit more to the south now. The finding was we were really overpowered at the back. So um, we've just put the second reef in the main and that seems to have worked just well. We're still holding our speed. We're doing like seven, seven and a half knots. Uh, looking to get to 1770 at about midday still, which is great. We arrive at 1770 just outside the bar. When going in, you need to look for the two navigational markers that indicate the entrance. Make sure that if you have a deep draft that you are there on the incoming high tide. And if you need any more information, VMR Round Hill is on channel 16, 81 and 82. Once inside, you can anchor up anywhere in this area here or further down past the marina. Just be aware that any of the anchoring within this area 
is very tidal. This is where we anchored uh, and it served us really well. We managed to get out of some of the flow of the incoming and outcoming tide. However, you just have to be very mindful of other vessels around how much chain they have out and whether they're going to be running with the tide or with the wind at the time. Lastly, if you are requiring fuel, there is a fuel wharf at the 1770 Marina. It provides diesel and unleaded, but best to call the number and inquire on the day that you're coming in and make sure that one, the wharf is clear and two, that your vessel can fit alongside. A big shout out to all our subscribers so far. And guys, if you're watching this and you're finding it entertaining and helpful, please subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, and more importantly, leave comments down below because I do want to improve this channel. I want it to add value to you guys. I want you guys to feel inspired to get out there and do this for yourself. And I want to give you the information to be able to do it. So please join the community, join the ocean family, uh, and I'll see you guys out on the ocean.